Friday, June the 5th, 2015, this educational video is uh, made to show how I treat hospitalized hamsters, three hamsters and one paraffin. So the first thing we, we, we check is, I'll take out the hamster, get a hamster and check whether there's any stools or not. In this case, you can see a lot of stools, a lot of stools, and so the hamster is definitely eating. Now this hamster comes in with a problem of the eye abscess. It's been going on for more than three weeks, and uh, every time we lunch it, the abscess comes back again. So today, I have lunch it again. I will lunch it again and uh, express the pus out. So now, I will clean up the abscess. Now this, this abscess, actually there are two. One is from the top as well. So normally I will do the, the cleaning up, expressing the pus from under from inside the abscess after lancing. I've done it just now, so there is not much abscess now. But it, it might form back again tomorrow. So, so far so good. It's been going on for more than two weeks. And uh, there seems to be some bacteria under the eyelid. So you need to release the pus from under the, the skin. This one then I'll give a drop of antibiotics. I'll give a drop of antibiotics and uh, painkiller. So hold the hamster. One drop of antibiotics and one drop of painkillers. Focus on this side. Can you see it? You, you gotta come this side. So one drop. You see it like this. Okay, then the, I just clean up clean up the wound. So this is done every day and then I put it back into the box. Into that bag. Okay, now for number two. For number two. The number two hamster had a skin tumor. This is very common. This, this hamster operated two days ago. The skin tumor is under the belly. So, after the operation, it was uh, watered here for, for two days. So, this is a tumor. The hamster was anesthetized and uh, a stitch up. As you can see, with four zero stitches. So uh, it looks very clean, it looks very clean, and uh, I still clean up. I just clean up the wound. Clean up the wound, check and clean up the wound, and I uh, give him the medicine, antibiotics. You can see the wound. It was a lump early on. You see? Stitches are there, the wound is holding. Okay, so I give antibiotics again. One drop. And painkillers, one drop. A day, once a day, a small drop. Overall, it's okay. It should begin home today. So active. Okay, so I put back number three. Now number three, hamster. Is the youngest at four months old. And what happened was, 
yesterday he was bitten by his sibling and uh, there was a big hole behind his ears he was bitten by his siblings and uh, as you can see this is the youngest and there was a big hole behind his his, uh, his ears and so this this wound has been stitched up you can see the stitch up so I'm just checking checking the wound today he's going home today and uh, this this is the stitch it's about tr three centimeter you yeah, focus on it three centimeter and uh, this was done only 18 hours ago so it's still quite clean I use a chlorhexidine and clean up then I give him the Mason again. Now this one is four months old, so it's smaller and more active. Okay, one drop. And another one drop. Painkiller. So he will go home. He will go home. So I wear gloves because some of them bite. But so far this tree do not bite. You can see. You can see the wound is here. Now it bites me now, you see? That's so why you must wear gloves. Okay, so this one goes goes back home again. And uh, that's it. Uh, one more. One more inpatient. Now this one is the therapy now. This therapy has been here for about two weeks. Now the owner had fat shrimps and uh, for three months the eyes became swollen and closed so he was uh, hospitalized and uh, now you can see the eyes is not so swollen but still not open so we still treat it we change the food to the pellets and uh, put, put under the sun for half an hour. The sunlight, the here, the sunlight for half an hour. So, so uh, these are the four cases of inpatient on June 5th, 2015 for your vets. Uh, just zoom on with it. Okay, come.